So we're going to explain to you how to do the actual variable muscle action method. So how do you apply it into your own training? So on the training sheet, you're gonna see that on the B series, for example, for your upper body, you're gonna see the name of the exercise. And then the reps, you're gonna see 10 plus one plus 10. And the tempo, you're going to see three zero, three zero. Then you're gonna see one zero, one eight. And finally, one zero, one zero. So we're gonna demonstrate and explain how you actually do the variable muscle action test, okay? So first of all, what's very, very important is you wanna use 50% of your one RM. So Alex, how much is your uh, eight rep, like uh, dumbbell press, for example? 60. So 60, so 60, eight reps, so divide 60 by 78%, so that's about 75, so 50% of 75, so we're gonna use 37.5 for our set. And you wanna make sure that you maintain that weight throughout all three different modes of contraction. Okay, so 37.5. So first 10 reps on 3030 for that isokinetic contraction. Two. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now it's really important, she's gonna go all the way down, come back up halfway through the concentric and she's gonna hold it there for eight seconds. So five, four, Three, two, one, finish the concentric, come back down, and now we go quick. One, zero, one, zero. Eight, <laughs> seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, very well done. So, with 50% of her estimated 1RM, she did all three modes of contraction in one continuous motion without changing the weight. Now keep in mind that the rest period are very short, so there's gonna be residual fatigue. So expect a drop in weight from about 10% from each set. Okay, so, so her second set she would drop that weight by 10%, and then after her second set she would drop by 10% again. Variable muscle action.